everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to the tutorial on how to use one set of keyboard and mouse to control more than one computer. So you can see uh, the setup that I have here right now is I have three different monitors. The two monitors on the left are uh, connected to one computer and the monitor on the right is connected to another computer you can see they have different operating systems one's Windows 8, one's Windows 7 and I have two keyboards um, the keyboard on the left so if I move the mouse right now it moves the uh, mouse on the left hand side so <clears throat> If I type anything with this keyboard on the left, and if I type anything with the keyboard on the left, it shows up on the monitor on the left. Okay, and I can also drag this um, using the mouse to the left hand side. But if I keep dragging to the right hand side, that's it because this is a whole different computer on the right. And if I use the mouse on the right, then I can move around on this computer but it doesn't go to the computer on the left okay because I have two separate computers so as you can see here my desk is getting a bit messy with all these keyboards so what I want to do is use one single keyboard okay instead of using two keyboards and two uh, mice I'm gonna use one keyboard one mouse to connect or to uh, both computers so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to um, Google Chrome so open up Google Chrome and I'm gonna go to um, I'm gonna go type in uh, Synergy on Google okay so I'm gonna Google and I'm gonna type in Synergy S Y N E R G Y okay synergy and after you type in synergy you're gonna go down to synergy mouse and keyboard sharing software so you're gonna click on that and then you're going to click download synergy so we're gonna download it and you're gonna click on community edition okay and then you're gonna click on uh, non premium uh, unless you want to donate money so feel free to donate if you feel like this is really useful and then because I'm running 64-bit version of Windows I'm gonna click 64-bit so click on that and then it's downloading Synergy now you have to do this on both computers so I'm gonna do it on the computer on the right hand side as well so I'm gonna go to Google I'm gonna download Synergy so S Y N E R G Y download synergy. And uh, you can see here that I'm using the mouse on the right as opposed to the mouse on the left. So I'm going to download it. Um, once it's downloaded, feel free to start installing it on both computers. So on the first computer on the left, um, I've already downloaded it from Google Chrome. If you can't see where the file is, press Control J in Google Chrome, and it brings up a list of previous downloads. And you can just click on um, the Synergy file okay that you previously downloaded so click run 
and then it starts um, installing it, press next, accept, next, and then make sure you install it in a folder that you want and install and I'm gonna do it to my computer on the right hand side as well so install synergy next accept next and the computer I wanna install it on the folder is on um, E drive E drive synergy okay next install yes and then yes okay so you can see right now I'm switching between the keyboard and mice between the two so I can control both computers okay now once you are finished what you can do is you're gonna run Synergy on both computers so on the Windows 8 I have to go to my um, apps and I try to find Synergy and I'm gonna run that on the computer on the left <clears throat> I have to find Synergy in the start menu or perhaps it's on the desktop no it's not you have to find it in the start menu try to find synergy okay and then once you found it one program has to be the client and the other one has to be the server so I'm gonna use my computer on the right to be the server so I click server on the right and on the computer on the left I click client and what happens is if you have a look at the server computer it tells you the IP address of the server which is 192.168.1.9 now you have to enter this number on the other computer so I'm gonna type that in over here so you can see here I've already typed it in before but if it's not there type it in over there so that the client computer knows where the server is the next thing you have to do is on the server computer click configure server and then you need to make sure that you add Intel I'll just show you again so you drag a screen from this icon into the grid and the name of the computer so you're gonna right click you're gonna double click on it and make sure the screen name matches the screen name on your client computer so the screen name on my client computer is Intel as you can see okay it says screen name Intel so I'm gonna type that on the screen name on the right hand side on my server computer so I'm gonna type Intel here in capitals Intel so I type it in and then I press OK and so it is now on the grid so I click OK and then I click start to start the server now you can see here it says watchdog status OK and then on the left hand side I also have to click start okay so it started already for some reason but originally it wouldn't have started so you're gonna click start and it'll say connected to server now once it's connected okay what you can do now is I'm going to disconnect the keyboard and show you guys that I can use one keyboard to control all three computers
Okay, so I'm gonna start disconnecting the keyboard. So hang on a second. Okay, so you can see here right now, I just have one keyboard. I just have one keyboard and one mouse. Okay, and let's see if I can control both computers. So I'm gonna use the mouse and I'm moving the mouse so I'm gonna move it to the screen on the right okay I'm gonna minimize this I'm gonna minimize this uh, go to uh, the program files have a look around and I'm gonna move to the left okay to my computer on the left and I'm gonna move the screen around I'm going to open a text file and I'm going to type on it. Okay, so it works. Alright, just one mouse, one keyboard to control both computers. And the good thing about Synergy is that it will automatically start as soon as you turn on your computer. Okay, so that um, you don't have to worry about it not working. Okay, thanks for that, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope it works for you. See you next time.